Are you bored by now eating the same meal preps? I bet you are. But today I brought four different marinades for you so you can spice it up in the kitchen y no te aburras. Sometimes I just like to do everything all at once, like rip the band-aid off and get it over with. I like to buy my chicken by the bulk at Costco. I thinly slice it that way the marinade penetrates the whole thing and then it cooks faster. You don't have to spend so much time in the kitchen. If you don't have one of these little tools that I have, you can also use a morcajete that you can throw everything in the blender. I'm adding one tablespoon of cumin, two tablespoons of salt, one of pepper and four garlic cloves and then we're just going to make a paste. The paste is made, I add the cilantro and then I go in there and I make that into a paste also. If you're using citrus on any of your recipes, always use the zest. That's going to take your citrusy flavor into a next level. I've incorporated all the ingredients I listed on the screen. You're going to slice five chicken breasts, thinly slice them, put them in a bag, and then you're going to thinly slice some red onions, add a handful of cilantro so it can look nice and cute. Then you're going to add your marinade. Now I'm going to put this in a Ziploc bag. You can marinate for about four hours overnight or you can freeze these. Just don't forget to take it out of the freezer the night before or tell one of your kids to take it out and that way when you get home from work or when they get home from school they can cook the chicken oh my gosh meal prep weight loss prepping ahead of time just means you're getting ahead of time this is what i ended up doing with mine some delicious chicken protein bowls with an esquite salad, some black beans, a cilantro lamb rice, the whole nine. I even made it for my friends and followers. But like this recipe, bye. Let's pack today's lunchbox for my friends and followers. So it's been a while since I made any lunchboxes for my friends and followers. So I was having like withdrawals. I was like, please let me take you a lunchbox to work. So today we're making them some delicious chicken bowls or Baja bowls, Mexican bowls, chipotle bowls, whatever bowls. We begin by marinating some chicken breast in a cilantro lime marinade. Then I tell the hubby to sear the chicken in a little bit of olive oil while I make the rest of the toppings. I'm gonna make a quick and easy buttery cilantro lime rice that I literally make in under 15 minutes. I wanted to make a dressing but I want to make it so heavy so I'm going to make an avocado tomatillo dressing. To my blender I put all of my ingredients along with some yogurt and a little bit of mayo. We're gonna blend it all until it's nice and smooth and then we're gonna assemble a whole little station because the bowls van a salir en chinga. We're gonna add a couple of scoops of that buttery cilantro lime rice we also made some black beans of course we're gonna add our daily greens some lettuce a mango pico de gallo and then we're gonna add an esquite salad ended up cutting up all the chicken into little cubes that way nobody chokes a big old scoop of guacamole and then i'm going to add the dressing into the little containers that way they can do it themselves i did tell them that i was gonna owe them the agua frescas because i just wanted to get back on the game you know i just wanted to drop off those lunch boxes that was it guys now i'm just gonna get everything ready for them not including the drinks so they can cut pick up during lunch time bye Let's pack today's lunchbox with my friends and followers. Today we're making them marinade number two from a meal prep series. I'm showing you guys how to make four different marinades and what to do with them. This is the garlic lemon chicken marinade, which is probably one of the easiest ones. All you need is lemon, olive oil, garlic, parsley, and thyme. Now with this economy, you want to use every drop of your ingredients to make sure that nothing goes to waste. So we're going to zest our lemons to make sure that the lemon taste is present. We don't have to use more lemons because they're about a dollar each. You're going to juice your lemons into the bowl and then you're going to finely chop some parsley, thyme, and garlic. These are the big papa elephant garlic, so I only use half of it, but it equals like about four regular garlic cloves. going to add a quarter cup of some olive oil, two tablespoons of salt, one of pepper, and then one tablespoon of your favorite lemon pepper. We're going to thinly slice five chicken breasts. That way our marinade penetrates the whole chicken and it cooks faster and you don't have to spend so much time on the stove. You can marinate this for about four hours overnight or freeze it. Since we're using citrus on protein, the protein tends to cook a little bit trust me it's not a big deal it's not going to change the texture or flavor of your chicken now to go along with our lemon garlic chicken i decided to make a simple alfredo sauce super easy all i did is melted two tablespoons of butter sauteed my garlic and my chili flakes then i added two cups of some heavy cream two cups of chicken stock and then my seasonings and of course lots of parmesan cheese once your sauce is nice and thick you're going to add your pasta in our case it was spaghetti i also sauteed some green beans para que estén a pedo pedo at work and there you have it guys now i'm just going to add the daily greens and form a parsley get everything ready for them drop it off at work so i can go get my lashes done bye if you're coming home from work or school tired, the first thing you're going to do is probably go and get takeout. Trust me, I know because I am that person. One of my New Year's resolutions is to stop eating out so much. I decided to make a couple of meal preps so I can get dinner out of the way and I don't have to spend any more money than I have to. This is marinade number three for my meal prep series. We are making some sesame chicken bowls. You're going to begin by marinating the chicken, obviously. So in a bowl, you're going to add your soy sauce, garlic, ginger, some brown sugar, hoisin sauce, honey, a little bit of sesame seed oil, some toasted 
have sesame seeds. I didn't have any sesame seeds, so I had to use everything but the bagel. At the end of the day, guys, I'm gonna get my family fed, whether I got the ingredient or not. We're gonna add lots of green onions to the marinade, and then we're gonna put this in a Ziploc bag. You can marinate this for about four hours overnight or freeze it. I actually froze this. I was ready to use it. I just took it out, let it thaw, and then I sauteed it with some oil. I'm gonna serve this with steamed rice, and then I add my chopped up chicken on the top. I made like a little simple salad with some cabbage, onions, carrots, and some cilantro. I also made some spinach with some sesame seed and garlic, an Asian cucumber salad, and I just googled the recipe, but if you want me to drop it here, let me know. We're gonna add a couple of hard-boiled eggs, avocado, spicy mayo, and of course, some sriracha sauce. I'm telling you guys, this bowl was the best. Now, don't believe me. Make it yourself and let me know. If you like this recipe, bye! Let's pack today's lunchbox for my friends and followers. Today we're making Joseph's preschool teacher some lunch. So it's been a while since I've seen her. So I figured if I made her a lunch, you know, it would kind of make up for the time that we haven't seen each other. Fun fact, Joseph's teacher happens to be my consuegra. Anyways, I'm making her some harissa chicken bowls. We're going to begin by marinating our chicken using all the ingredients I'm going to list on the captions, guys. We're going to marinate the chicken for at least four hours, or you can also marinate overnight. Now we're just going to put them on some skewers, and then we're going to put them in my smoker to grill them. What do you mean your smoker to grill them? Well, my smoker happens to be a grill also. Once our chicken has reached 165 degrees, we're going to remove them and let them rest so all the juices can go back to where they belong. In the meantime, we're going to make a quick little salad with some cucumbers, tomatoes, parsley, and some mint. I'm also going to chop up some feta cheese and we're going to go on ahead and add it to the salad, but if you don't want to add it in there, don't. Now to plate it, we're going to make a nice little bed of a garlic turmeric rice. We're going to add the chicken on top, add some chopped up lettuce, our little salad with the cucumbers and tomatoes, some pickled sumac onions, avocado, homemade hummus, a garlic sauce, and an avocado cilantro sauce. I love sauces, so we made a lot of them. I'm also making her some homemade pita bread so she can cut it open and then put everything inside and just eat it like a sandwich. I'm just gonna wrap them up in some foil paper so they can stay nice and warm, get everything ready for her, and then we're gonna go and drop it off at her school. There you have it, guys. Bye!